in Wisconsin weather for 19 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, it looked and it felt like winter out there today, and that is a sign of things to come, but not necessarily during your seven day temperature trend. You're going to have to wait for the 10 day coming up in a couple of minutes. Highs tomorrow will be in the upper 20s. We'll see lower 30s on Friday and Saturday, and then mid 30s return as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that are hanging out in the 20s. Conditions range from 20 in Watoma to 28 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. Right now in Green Bay, we're looking at 26 degrees. It is cloudy and the winds are still breezy, not as strong as they were earlier today. In Appleton, we have partly cloudy conditions, so it's colder. It's 21 right now with northwest winds at around 10 miles per hour. That is producing a wind chill factor of 10. Wind chills right now across northeast Wisconsin range from the single digits through the teens up into the 20s. Now, along with the colder weather today, we had some more light snow move through during the middle of the afternoon. That snow was produced by a weak trough of low pressure, which is now heading off towards the east. This area of high pressure is actually going to be our main weather maker for later on tonight. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and also for most of Sunday. So we're going to have a quiet stretch of weather. Underneath that ridge of high pressure, it was chilly today, but not necessarily chilly by December standards. High temperatures were in the teens and 20s, and we can expect more of the same tomorrow. Most of us will see highs in the upper 20s. Precision cast shows sky conditions tonight, ranging from mostly cloudy to mostly clear. Tomorrow, clouds mixing with some sunshine. It looks like most of us will see more sunshine tomorrow compared to what we saw today. So quiet weather tomorrow and into the weekend, but then things start to get a little more interesting. Our chances for snow will start to go up as we head towards Christmas. Maybe a mixed bag Monday and Tuesday, and then it looks like we could see some accumulating snow as we head into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The computer models are forecasting a big storm to develop across the uh, central part of the country and then shift east into the Great Lakes area as we head into Christmas Eve and Christmas. This storm has the potential to produce high winds. That could actually be the biggest story with this. And when you factor in the high winds with some snow, there could be blizzard conditions. So this is obviously something we're going to have to watch closely as we move towards the big holiday and things can change as well. So stay tuned. Behind that, it looks like much colder weather is going to move back into the central part of the country. So far this winter, we have had one day with low temperatures below zero. By this time last year, we had had seven days with negative numbers, but it looks like we could make up some ground as we get ready to head into January. So your forecast for tonight calls for variable cloudiness. A couple of flurries are possible. Overnight lows will be around 20 degrees. Tomorrow, a mixture of sun and clouds. Highs will be pretty close to what we saw today, maybe a degree or two warmer. 30 on Friday, 33 on Saturday. Partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions as we move into the weekend. As we warm up, that snow that's on the ground right now will start to melt just a bit. Monday and Tuesday, a weak system moves through, giving us the chance for some light snow or a mixture with lows in the lower 30s and highs in the mid 30s. And then we're going to watch a couple of systems combine into potentially a bigger storm. Christmas Eve into Christmas morning, this storm once again. If it develops, we'll have the potential to produce high winds and a decent amount of snow. It doesn't look like a major snowstorm for us, but enough to definitely whiten the ground and make for a white Christmas. And then after that, much colder weather. There's your 10-day forecast showing highs only in the teens by next Saturday. Hmm, could put a crimp in your travel plans, too. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It bears watching. All right. Thanks, Cameron. Yep. Still ahead on NBC26, the history of the 